So the first thing I'm going to do is access all of the mission files, uh, which is uh, here. Open with code. So these are all of the files that Liberation uses. Next, you want to locate your mission params.hpp, which is in the UI folder mission params. Next, I'm going to take this block, copy, and paste into the revive mode section. And save. Then there are further comments to enable the AI to revive each other. Um, so we are referred to scripts client build to build. And this simply replaces the line for the single unit and adds call AIS system function loadout or load AIS, sorry. Save. And then apply also to the squad build. Leave starts here. And ends here. Apologies here. just in case. And save. And lastly, we are referred to scripts server game save manager. Line forty one Um this may have changed since this was posted uh, a couple of years ago now. Here also and save. Uh, next, we download the actual uh, AOS system itself.
and now you can see the relevant files in here. So according to the documentation, uh, we simply copy the AIS folder into the mission root and then edit the description.ext with this code. So first I'm just going to rename this to data just because it's slightly easier to navigate I'm just going to use the uh, Windows Explorer so go in here, go in here, copy that and back in the mission routes paste that in then we want to go into the description.ext and this is the code that we need to add into the description ext of the game sorry of the mission Okay, so that should work. Let's test that. Okay, so testing. Jeden, przerwi ogień do jasnej cholery. Potrzebuję pomocy na tych miast. Cztery. Opatrzcie. So I just chucked a grenade down. This guy is automatically healing this guy, and I'm now able to stabilize this guy. So, seems like that process works. I hope that helps.